Do you want to use your API Gateway URL inside your Lambda before you've even deployed it? In this video, we're going to be looking at how we can do that using Serverless Framework and AWS. Hi guys, my name is Sam with Complete Coding, where our aim is to make you into the best developer that you can be. In this video, we're going to be looking at a quick, neat little trick that you can add to your serverless projects so that you can have the URL that your API gateway is going to be on inside the Lambda that you're deploying. This can be really useful as often you want to maybe call one of the other API endpoints inside your same service, or you might want to send a request to a third party and provide a URL that they are to respond to, which is part of that same service. One option you used to be able to do, and you still can do, is to deploy your code, get your URL from API Gateway, go back into your code, and add it back in. Whilst this does work, it's very manual. So we want a way to automate that and make it as smooth as possible. So what we're gonna do now is jump into the code and see how we can do just that. So we're gonna start inside our serverless YAML file and we're going to look inside our provider and our environment variables. These environment variables then get passed into all of our lambdas. So this is a really good place to store our API. We're gonna be creating a new environment variable. I'm gonna call this API URL base. And that is going to be accessible from inside the code of any of our lambdas. Now the process for doing this is a little bit of uh, a little bit of extra work for us because at the moment before we've deployed it we don't know what the API gateway URL is going to be but we can reference it so that when it deploys and when we find out that API gateway URL it can automatically populate this. The way that we do that automatically is by using references. So what we need to do is join up a HTTPS string with the reference to our API gateway ID and then the rest of the URL. The way that we do that in serverless is by using some cloud formation The way that we do that is by using some cloud formation. The way that we do that is by using a cloud formation join function. So to start that, we first start with an object and then we need to say that we are going to be using the function and that function is going to be a join. Now, join takes an array and inside that array, first you need to say what you're going to be joining each of the pieces together with. In our case, that is going to be just nothing. So it's a string containing nothing in between. If you were doing a different kind of join, you could use a comma, a hyphen or something like that. And the second part is an array. And inside this array are each of the sections that you're going to be joining together. So as I said earlier, the first part is going to be HTTPS colon slash slash, which is the start of the URL. After that, we're going to use the reference. So this is an object with a key of ref 
and that is going to point to API gateway rest API just like that and when we deploy it this section here will get turned into the API gateway reference ID which will help us make our URL. After that we need one more string which is the rest of the URL. So that is going to be dot execute dash API dot and then here is going to be the region and then for us we can actually just reference this di directly so dollar curly brace self dot provider oh, sorry self colon provider dot region and then outside of that reference so that is one reference just there we're going to do dot amazon aws.com forward slash and then the stage which is going to be again a reference to self colon provider dot stage and that is all we need to do if we now save this it might get reformatted if you've got a formatter and now what we can do is if we deploy this we will then be able to see this API URL base on all of our lambdas. So now you can go into your terminal and run SLS deploy and that will deploy this to our AWS account and I'll get back to you when that is done. So now that has finished deploying, what we can do is head over to our AWS console and I've logged into my account. In the find service, I can search for Lambda and inside here, we should see that one minute ago, I deployed all of these Lambdas. So I'm gonna pick one of the Lambdas I've just deployed. And if we scroll down in here, past the designer, and past the functional code, we'll see the environment variables. As before, we had a bucket name and a table name, but we now have an API URL base. And if you look here, we have the URL that we can use to hit this endpoint. So in this video, we've looked at how we can add an environment variable to our AWS Lambda that points directly at our API Gateway URL. We've done this using two cloud formation functions called function.join and then the reference. With these two parts together, we've been able to create our whole API URL and store that as an environment variable on our Lambda. In our Lambda, we can now do whatever we want with that. It could be making a request to one of the other endpoints on our service, or sending our own URL out when we make a request to a third party. If you've learned something new in this video, it would really help the channel out if you give it a like, as it helps share this video to more developers just like yourselves. And if you haven't done already, make sure to subscribe down here and turn on the bell notification so you get updated next time I release a video. So thank you and I'll see you in that next video.